The polling place at Old Reformed Church in Old City was very busy today. Every vote counts, but time is quickly running out to make sure mail in ballots are corrected in Philadelphia. Eyewitness News reporter Ryan Hughes is outside City Hall where voters have been scrambling to make sure they have fixed their ballot problems. Ryan. Yuki, the problem is involving those mail in ballots. Thousands of voters across the city have been alerted that their ballot is now in question. If you look at the clock, we now have less than three hours to fix the issue. For the past two days, voters in Philadelphia have been scrambling to make sure their voice is heard. I must have signed it wrong. Because I asked him, I said, well, what did I do? So he said he couldn't tell me that. Juanita Barnes is one of about 3,800 voters in the city who has to fix their mail-in ballot before it's possibly thrown out. We're told the ballots were either not signed, not dated, or they were placed in the wrong envelope. That at its peak, uh, you know, uh, the, some people were actually turned away yesterday, had to come back today because there was a decision there were just too many people here. Voters have been sent text messages and emails alerting them their mail in ballot is in question. 87 year old Ed Keenan returned to City Hall to fix the issue after he sent his ballot in three weeks ago. I was also doing my bills and I forgot to put the ballot in the blue envelope. And after I came back from going to the post office, I realized that. The Pennsylvania Supreme Court agreed with the Republican National Committee. Under state law, election officials should not count votes that are not properly signed and dated. It's quite a burden because now I have to wait in line for an hour. I'm glad to do it, but it's a few hours of anybody's time to correct a mistake that doesn't need to be corrected. And the Philadelphia commissioners have compiled a list of residents who may be impacted. We posted that information on our website, cbsphiladelphia.com. And another reminder, you have until 8 o'clock tonight to come down here to City Hall to request that replacement ballot to make sure your vote is counted. We are live outside City Hall in Center City. Ryan Hughes, CBS3 Eyewitness News. And Ryan, we thank you for that.